I got a new tattoo. Ooh. Oh, wait, yes. Sean, you can't see it. I don't think it's LFG. Yeah. It's for let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. Exactly. I don't want to say show that on the show. Probably not. <laughs> Did you get it in Vegas? No, I got it literally like two hours after I landed. Stop. Where are you? <laughs> in Texas. Huh? You're in Texas right now? I am. I am. And I'm in Austin. Oh, cool. I miss home so much. Um, wait, when did you get there? I got there Friday, like at 2.30. My friend picked me up. We went to go eat. And I was like, this is so weird. I was like, am I going to get recognized? I was like, I kind of hope not yet. Cause like apparently Jalen and everyone else did. And I was like oh, really? freaking out. And, um, that was great. Like I had friends that I saw and they're like, Oh, I didn't even know you were on a show. I'm like, okay, thank you. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. You've been recognized since you've been home. Yes. Um, the first time was a couple hours after the tattoo no. and I went to Nordstrom to go get some like, you know, new jeans that I borrowed from Sally. I was like, I need these jeans as soon as I get home. And I took, I got them. And uh, yeah, no, I was in Nordstrom and the person that was working there was too nervous to ask me if I was on Love Island. So he asked his friend that was working and she's like, I haven't seen it, but like, are you on Love Island? I'm like, yeah, I am. But then it was constant after that. And I went out, I got recognized at my work, of course, because a lot of people knew that I worked there. Um, but people were like, oh my God. And like, so a lot of people were drunk. So they're like grabbing, shaking me. I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> It's, it's definitely really so overwhelming right when you get back. Like, yeah, I messaged Mackenzie and I was like, I'm going to need to go visit y'all like ASAP because this is so weird, like not being with y'all and being out in the real world and yeah. COVID world and, and, uh, so I heard you're going to LA with Cher and Mackenzie. I am. We're going on Friday. Oh, so crazy. Back. Yeah. Are y'all going to be back by then? No. Oh, you said you're so bummed. I thought you said pumped. Oh my god. Oh, we're so we sad. wish like we would literally pay money to hang out with you guys. Like <laughs> oh we're god, stop it. A whole dollar. <laughs> no, that's my charging rate. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, but yeah, so we're going on Friday, and she's flying from Miami. I'm flying from Austin, and our connecting flight. We're meeting up in Phoenix. Like oh. it just so happened to like work out that way, and. While we're there, we're gonna meet up with uh, Conzer and Mackenzie. And then I'm gonna say hi to Lauren and my babe. And then I was gonna say hi to Mercedes there, but I think she's still back home. Yeah. Um, and something about like Yemen hitting share up and then like, we're gonna go hang out with them. I'm like, okay. <laughs> I love so this, fun. I love this Love Island family connection. It's incredible. It's all have been so amazing, um, especially cause you know how it is. Like, I've been um, reached out to by Weston, by Zach, by y'all, um, Winston. He's like, I wish you were on season one. <laughs> I was like, hey. Uh, of course. <laughs> but um, y'all have been so amazing, especially with, like, the whole transition. Everyone was talking about the transition. I'm like, I'll be fine. And then I get out, and I'm like, I'm not being watched, but I feel like I'm being watched. No, exactly. Like, I was like, where's my mic? And, like, it was comforting to me. I know. I'm like, where? I'm like, moving. I'm like. Did I forget in the bathroom again? <laughs> but what's up, guys? Welcome back to After the Island. I'm Elizabeth. I'm Alex. And we have Kirsten with us today. Hi! <laughs> Get ready for some arm chugs. <laughs> yes, we're ready. We're so excited to have you here. I know. I'm like, I got, I got mine ready. ready. Right now? Should yes. we? Yes. Okay, I'm going to do all of this. Look how big this one is. Okay, uh, do like half. I know. Okay. Ready? Uh -huh. Cheers! Sweet, I don't know what you do. Oh, you do it this way. Oh my god, I love y'all. Woo! <laughs> okay, wait, Kirsten, my first question. Where did the arm chug originate from? So I got a lot of questions about that, and I had to stop and think and ask my friends. And I think it, you know, we just randomly did it one time at work. I don't know if someone showed us or what, but uh, yeah, definitely Austin, Texas. That's where we do it. <laughs> love it it gave us the best vibes a lot of people hate it a lot of people hate it I mean I do it a lot but I never expected you know Love Island to show a lot of them like there's no need to put it out there like five times even though I'm doing it like every night but um I asked the girls that came in 
like Lakin and Julia and I was like so what do you think because everyone's like what have you seen like how am I being perceived like do people hate me do people love me and they're like yeah a lot of arm chugs I'm like <laughs> well I think like the first time we saw it I could be wrong but it was you and Carrington and yeah, you made him arm chug why is that my like move I'm like hey I really like you but we should do <laughs> I don't know but it's iconic it's like I'm move. gonna start using it <laughs> I love it I mean and Johnny did not like it at all he's like why can't you just chug it regular or like why not and I'm like why are you so pressed about it I'm like I'm having fun and I tried to chug like normal and I was like no I'm like it's not the Naughty. same and then I don't know if you saw it but after you left all the islanders did like an honorary and arm everyone's like oh my god I'm like no I told them I was like y'all better arm chug for me I was like I know I was like y'all are not gonna do that for me I was like y'all have to and if you don't I'll be watching and like if not I'll contact someone and be like did they do it <laughs> Great. I love it. it was, I appreciated it. I was like, it was a very heartfelt speech by Carrington. And just to see everyone do it, I was like, my babe. I'm like, okay, never mind. I want to get back in. <laughs> but not really. <laughs> okay. Speaking of Carrington. Yes. We wanted you guys to get back together because we were, we just like, I don't know. We love you together. We love you together. We think it still might happen. Uh, it was, he was great. Um, a lot of people are like rooting for us to get back together and a lot of people are like no she deserves better and it's kind of like they're asking me like where do I stand and I'm like I don't know like it's it's a hard question because like I love Laurel to death and you know I care so much about her she's like a sister to me the sister I've never had and then there's Carrington who I really care about and he's just like no I don't like you <laughs> I'm like okay uh, but I still care about him a lot I care a ton <laughs> But I hate it. Sally came up with that joke. But um, I don't know. It's like girl code on one hand. And then there's like, I have a lot of interest in him still. Um, but it's also, I put myself out there so many times. So it's like, I have to have respect for myself and be like, no, you don't need to like chase after a guy. And everyone is also saying like, never let a man tell you they don't want you more than once. And I'm like, well, I let him do it like three times or more. Okay, so to us, we literally think you're such a boss bitch. Like Wait. you in our eyes, and I think yeah. most of America agrees. Mm -hmm. You carry yourself so well. You are so well spoken. And every time you put it out there with Carrington, for some like reason, we it just, just didn't care that he was like, no, I just want to look for something else. Um, we were we just were like, like oh, no, we just, no, no. no. You oh, I love y'all so much. I mean, it was just kind of like, I don't have any regrets at all. Like I knew what I was doing in every single decision I made. And I was like, wow, me standing alone. Like I saw, <laughs> I saw Mike's after the island and he said something regarding like, I just didn't want her to look dumb. And I know he didn't mean it like that, but like, I knew I was going to look dumb. I knew he was bringing someone in like after the way we left it, but I don't, I didn't have a connection like romantically with anyone. And I love my big, bold statements. And I was like, if this doesn't make him think, then I don't know what will. Yeah. Well, okay. And that was, was honestly statement. one of our most tragic moments of Love Island watching it. Like, I think Elizabeth and I both looked at each other and we were like, what the oh, hell? What? Let me guess the staircase. Yes. Oh, uh, it was, that was shocking to me. And there was a lot of me being like, like, how could you do that to someone? I said that like 20 times. I'm not even kidding. Um, but I knew that it wasn't all him. And we all know, um, especially like, they were like, would you have the same reaction if you were coupled up with someone? And I was like, yeah, I would, because I, I wanted him to come back alone, but I knew that wasn't really a possibility because of everything. But me ha being like, you know what, I'm staying alone, whatever. And then, you know, having all this hope and the girls be like, oh my God, like he's coming down. And I was like, no, no, he's like waving her down. And they're like, no. And I'm like, no, he is. That was just, it was a hard night. It was a hard night. <laughs> we both were like, when I know, I was like that to my face. I was just like. <laughs> Our hearts <laughs> dropped. No, we were like very much pissed for a very long time. <laughs> I was. I, d I couldn't look him in the eye. Like I could see him kind of turning his head over at me and I was like, no, I'm not looking at you. I'm not gonna even like make eye contact with you right now. But I don't, y'all you, you know how it is. 
Yeah. It's a TV show. Good, great, great TV. I was like, okay, like, you know, that, that's going to make some noise, but <laughs> I'm over there kind of like hurting. So that sucked. <laughs> if you don't mind me asking too, like, you don't have to yeah. ask, what was like the reason that you and Carrington didn't move forward romantically? Like, was there even a reason or? Like the first time um, when we like broke things off. So, so I get really, I got really comfortable with him and I don't know what it was, but like, I've seen this show before. I know you have to kind of dive deep into your emotions, but I already got that comfort with him. So I was like, oh, we'll just chill and talk. But I forgot, like, he doesn't really know that much about me and vice versa. So I feel like it's because girls came in like Lauren and she did have deeper conversations and I don't know. I just, that's the one regret, if any, that I would say is that I just completely forgot. I already got way too comfortable and you cannot get comfortable on Love Island. Like that's like the no-go thing. Um, but even after us, you know, being friends or whatever, uh, I just saw how great of a friend he was and just how genuine he could be. I mean, he made some that boy, I don't know how his brain works. And like, I would pay to be in his mind for like five minutes, but like, he's a great guy. And a lot of people were coming for him. And I'm like, no, I liked him for a reason. Liked him a little too much, but I really don't know what it is. It's just that he was a great friend to people and that he had the ability to be like very romantic. And Laurel did bring that out in him. And it's kind of like, well, that wasn't with me, but that's there. So seeing him grow throughout the Love Island journey that he was on, um, I was like, okay, I'm falling deeper for some reason. The way that you have handled like Carrington going after other girls and standing your ground, but also being such a girl's girl, like you stabbed my heart with that. I was like, this girl is ride or die. And I love you for that because you were a best friend to every single girl there. Laurel and you, like- I love Laurel is my babe to where people were like I want them to couple up and then it kind of went further than that I'm like no 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 I like guys <laughs> but, but like Laurel like she is literally the sister that I've always wanted and like I remember like I have two amazing brothers like they're great um but you know I wanted a sister and like every time like I just wanted a sister and I'm very very protective of my family it's like I can mess with them but you can't and I started feeling that way about Laurel. And I'm like, wow, she feels like family to me. There was someone saying that uh, it's funny how Kirsten's befriending all the girls that Carrington's interested. I'm like, well, he has great taste in girls then because like we're all badass people. No, I love every one of them. Um, I feel like too, we got to see you just were a great friend to everyone in the villa, even besides them, like even from day, the day you came in, like you've always just been kind to everyone there. I, it was hard to go into the villa and even though I got there on like the second day or the night of the second day and y'all know that one day in there feels like a week. So that's enough to form like pretty decent friendships and you know, everything, but I don't know. It was, it was a great time and wow. I don't know. It's crazy to be outside the villa. I'm like, that feels like a year ago. Oh, okay. Doesn't it feel like it was 50 years ago, but also yesterday? It, no, exactly. And people can never understand that unless they're actually doing it. But I'm like watching all these videos. I'm like, oh yeah, like that's crazy. But in reality, that was like a week ago. Yeah, I feel like that doesn't go away either. No, it never goes away. We still feel that way. There's a really good um, submission question from Cormac from our season. And he wants to know uh, what your number is. <laughs> oh, okay. I'll DM y'all that later. <laughs> y'all probably, yeah. <laughs> How have the DMs been? Uh, the DMs, oh my God, Cara Delevingne. Oh no! Yes! Me! <laughs> she follows me. No, we're like, freaking out. I, I was driving um, back from my friend's house and I was like, I'm really craving Taco Cabana, but I was like, damn, it's closed. And then I see that I have a DM from Cara and I whipped into the Taco Cabana parking lot anyway. And I was like, oh my God, I have to respond to her, but like, not too late, but like not too soon. It's like dealing with the guy. And I thought it was going to be something like, oh, I'm still amazed by it. But I thought it was going to be her just being like, oh yeah, you're a badass. And I'm like, okay, that's enough for me. But then she kept DMing me. 
and like kind of asking about the show and she's like he did amazing and then apparently she has a friend in Austin she's like if you ever want to be set up I'm like you're like yes 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 and also can we be best friends <laughs> yeah you're like also, so yeah so that's been great um Amanda Stanton from uh Bachelor and Bachelor in Paradise she DM'd me and she says that I was one of her favorites and I'm just it's been amazing like I've had people send me stories I think my favorite story was that someone sent in there like my ex-husband is in prison and I just talked to him but like they're all rooting for you like they all love you and I'm like thank you <laughs> oh my god yeah, that's amazing I was like did I read that right <laughs> that's a good one and, uh someone submitted or why, why didn't you want to keep going with Bennett um, okay, so Bennett was a great guy, and y'all all saw how, like, crazy I was about him at first, and that was kind of mainly the excitement of a new guy coming home. Like, at that point, I wanted to go home. Like, I was like, I want to go home. Everyone knew it, and they're like, no, just stay. There might be guys coming in, like, all the girls, and then the next morning, someone did, and uh, <laughs> that alone, that experience, like them waking us up, I thought it was like Feli or Johnny or something. And I was like, shut the F up. And then I actually look and I'm like, oh my God, like I put the covers back over. I'm like, that's not them. But Bennett, I, I don't know. I just didn't feel it with him. I didn't see it with him. And there's nothing wrong that he did. Like he was a great guy, very sweet. He was like, I'm all in on you. And I was like, well, there um maybe that's how Carrington felt I'm like I love you after this but um I just wasn't really feeling it there and I didn't force anything with any of the other guys and I wasn't gonna force anything with him I just need to tell you how iconic it was when he said that he I was like what Everyone's like, I need that on a sweatshirt, uh, coffee mug, uh, hat. And honestly, I'm going to make myself one. And I'm going to be like, anything yeah. is a good idea. Why? <laughs> Why? It you was, have to. Uh, I agree. I think that was iconic. And I'm like, that's a good gift. Or gif, however y'all want to say it. Yeah, my friends were like, there's Kirsten. <laughs> Before we had watched that scene um, unfold, so during the challenge, we thought Bennett had picked Laurel because – he saw she was upset, and he saw you were crying. Exactly. Everyone thought We that. were like, oh, precious. Like, yeah, how cute. nice of him to pick her back yeah. up after that. I was that. excited. And then he's like, oh, I did that to make you jealous. And I'm like, what? I'm like, you thought that was a good idea. Why? <laughs> For what? For why? <laughs> and I know. I was just like, I can't fault the guy. I mean, yes, it was a dumb decision on his part. Like, who does that? But also, I didn't really ever open up to him to where he knew, like, that's not how you approach things with her. Everyone back home was like, like, face palm. They're like, this guy knows nothing. <laughs> it's a no for me. What do you have to say to the rude people in the back? <laughs> <laughs> to uh, pipe down and calm down, calm yourself. <laughs> Mind your business. <laughs> Which um, couple are you rooting for? Okay, so every I feel like everyone feels the same way. Jaleb all the way, but I have voted and I will be voting, I think it's like in an hour or after, you know, it ends. Um, but like, I, I have to vote for Laurel and Carrington because I, I do like how he picked her and how she stayed strong. Like, that's my girl. I gotta give some love to them. Someone asked, how do you do your lips? <laughs> How do I do them? I go to my amazing girl at derm underscore nurse. And oh, we're talking about no, we're not talking about injections. Oh my God, I don't do that. I thought you're gonna be like NARS, lip shade, color um, nude. Normally I don't really do them. So I was borrowing, you, you gotta ask Sally. I was like, can I borrow that? And she's like, yes. Oh, I love that. You guys that. were, like, all the beauty and makeup queens this year. Like, we were, like, how do they all know how to, like, do their hair and makeup so great? Like, we were all oh my God, my never had makeup strong. on. My makeup, I thought it was good, but apparently Twitter does not think that. Wait, I think it was so good because I was about to ask you, how did you keep it so flawless in the heat? Um, just a bunch of, like, blotting and going back and, like, fixing it and just, oh, uh, the amount of product that we went through just because we, like, put it on and we sweat and we put more on and take it off and shower and then my skin is just like thank you for yeah. just leaving and like getting kicked off yeah you probably so were like I'm not wearing breathe. makeup for a few days yeah yeah 
we definitely want to ask you too what your thoughts are on like Johnny and Sully from like being in the villa and then now like watching any of it back or seeing like the outside. I haven't really seen anything except me, of course, because I'm like instantly on YouTube. I'm like Kirsten Love Island, and then I'm seeing like all the tears and then and like whatever. But um, I actually haven't really watched Casa more back either. I think I need to like take some time, you know glass of wine just chill out and be like I need to sit down for this one but everyone's like yeah it's Sally's probably not going to feel good after she watches it and I haven't seen it yet but uh I love Johnny and Sally from the beginning uh Rachel and I's bed were right next to theirs and every morning I would wake up or like look at him in the mirror because they were right across from us and he would look at me I'm like are you sweating he's like yep or like every morning I'm like are you hot now like it was just so uncomfortable and then I found out that Johnny just sweats all the time so I was like okay it's not just me <laughs> but um I love them and then the whole cost and more thing happened like obviously I was with Sally the whole time and she like stood strong and and loyal and then we knew he was gonna come back alone we had hoped like I was like there's no way um even though we didn't know for sure and then to hear about all this stuff and it wasn't until like the Twitter competition that they're like you know, she doesn't even know the half of it. And we're like, the half? And I'm like, what other half? Like, there's a whole half? Like, not not just, like, a quarter or something? But I don't know. Like, I've seen some little clips, but if he can do that or whatever he did on camera, knowing that it's going to be broadcasted to everyone, what is he going to do off camera? So, I mean, that's a decision that she's going to have to make and they're going to have to talk about, but... I don't know. I thought I love them. I really do. There's sometimes I'm like, y'all are, y'all have some big ass heads. Like y'all need to pipe down and like, I don't even know, but it's, it's all love there. And you know, I can't really judge him because I'm not there, but, and I haven't watched it back yet, but I just know how faithful Sally was and how much she cares about him. So just from that alone, I just, I hope he realizes what he has. Yeah. We stand Sally yeah. at this house. Yeah. We're definitely, oh. Me too. <laughs> We're just nervous, like, how that's going to affect her, like, seeing all of it in a different light and stuff, too. Yeah, I, I, there's some things that I've watched that I've, you know, tortured myself. I've watched 20 times over, and I'm, like, crying, and I'm, like, okay, no again. I'm, like, oh, no again. <laughs> I'm, like, let me feel the pain. <laughs> if, since you said you watched season one, if you yeah. were on our season, who were, like, some of the guys you would have coupled up with? Honestly, I was like looking at all of them and I watched most of it and okay, I don't know who George is. Who's George? I don't even know what George looks like. There's a George that came on. <laughs> like what? He was there for like five seconds, but he's hot. No, but also apparently George is with Yaman and they're like, Hell yeah, I will see you on LA and I'm like, I need to look who this guy is. What? Like, George was in Miami. <laughs> I know, so I'm like, I have no idea what's happening. But um, I thought y'all's guys were great, but no. Um, I think they're just very sweet and like they matched y'all. Um, I just really wasn't sure if I could have gone for, I feel like it would have been like a repeat of my thing. Like, I don't know if I have a connection with any of these guys, but Weston surprised me. I was like, okay, his personality shined through and he is attractive. And I'm like, Texas, hell yeah. But um, I'd say Weston of anything. Okay. And then maybe George, after I, like, look into who George is, I'm like, hey, y'all know I'm, like, instant attraction. Other than Carrington, who was, like, your closest guy friend in the villa? Oh, Trey, hands down. And then I saw, <laughs> and then I saw everything, like, outside of here, and then I found out that Trey liked me, and I'm like, you didn't tell me that. But um, Trey was just my guy in the villa. Like, I... I don't know, I could go for him for absolutely anything. A lot of it was Carrington um, involved. Uh, there were times like when he came back from Lauren's date and I'm like, am I good? He's like, no, but I, th or he, I thought he said no, but he said yes. And then looking back at this whole switcheroo thing, I'm, I don't know what I heard. Yeah, that's what we heard. I know what y'all heard and that's correct. Um, it, that's just very hurtful on my end because I thought Carrington truly wanted to go for me in that recoupling but you know it's a tv show and and you gotta gotta do that so I don't know where I stand on that end but Trey was definitely my guy I loved him I went to him for advice all the time he came to me for advice he would just like mess around my favorite Trey memory there's like two of them 
when I first started getting to know him when I was with Carrington, I was like, well, he's Carrington's guy in here. Like I need to be friends with him. And I wanted to get to know him. So I was sat down with him on the famous blue couch. And I was like, so how are you and Justine? And he's like, you're not one of the boys yet. I'm like, okay. Oh. And then I was, I was like, oh, I don't know what to talk about now. And I was like, just like awkwardly walked away. I was like, well, um, so, uh, like, uh, out. <laughs> catch you later. And then I was filling up my water bottle one day and he's like, hurry the fuck up. But I thought he said like, fill mine up. And I'm like, oh yeah. And then he looked at me confused, but he was totally kidding. I'm like, okay, so now we're on that level. I'm like, are we friends now? You're like, so I'm one of the boys now? Yeah, what? no, I, I finally made, made it into their okay, little like, group. I'm still secretly rooting for you and Carrington. <laughs> You're like, me too. <laughs> Same. <laughs> No, I love Laura. I really do want them to work out. Like from the bottom of my heart, everyone's like, she's just being fake and all this. I'm like, no, like I care about her. I want her to be happy. I care about him. I want him to be happy. If they make each other happy, then that's amazing. Like I apparently just wasn't that person for Carrington and I've accepted that. So like following the whole Kirsten and Carrington fan of fan account on Instagram and being like sad tear. But um, I really, I really am rooting for them. If I can't be that girl for him, then I want Laurel to be or whoever. Yeah. And that shows maturity. How amazing you are. It doesn't mean I like it, but I mean, I, I really care about them both. So when he goes tequila shots or nah? When and where? <laughs> <laughs> but I'm going to put y'all on to rumple mint shot. No. Oh no. Wait, is okay, so there's a no, and then Alex, is that a no or is that a yes? Okay, like I'm down for any shot, to be honest. So I don't hate it. I used to do it in college, but I'm here for it. You know it does what it needs to do. It and but you have to do it with a Coke back and then the shot and then a Coke back. So before and after. Okay. So it's where you take like a Coke chaser before and then you take a Coke chaser after. Yeah. That yep. would make it, like, so freezing cold feeling, I feel like. It's happening. perfect. You need to try it. I'm going to make y'all try it when y'all come see me and I come see y'all. Are you going to stay in Austin? <sighs> so I have said to people that at some point in my life, I do want to live somewhere else to just kind of, like, get out of my comfort zone and just, like, go live somewhere and meet new people. But I feel like I will always find my way back to Texas at least. You know, I love my Texas. I could move around to Dallas. Maybe not Houston. I'm not sure. I haven't really been there. I'm actually going there tomorrow to get my hair done. But uh, I'll, I'll check it out. <laughs> something. Your hair looks like you just got it done. Oh, no. I just, uh, no, it's just the same as it was. It actually was longer when I was in quarantine. So I, I was like, did the heat and like the, like all the kinds of heat burn it off? Same thing to share. Like she got her extensions taken out and her hairstylist like, apparently screamed and was like where'd your hair go like the chlorine the heat the styling tools everything like our hair is <gasps> someone goes what was so special about carrington though did you not see our shower scene <laughs> carrington jr no um everyone says that he lacks personality and i'm like where i guess maybe it didn't really show like watching it back i'm like that's just how he is he's very monotone but he's so funny and he's hilarious oh we don't think he lacks personality we think he lacks uh maybe. reining it back at any times he has no yeah. no qualms he takes we would always say he takes 14 steps forward and then 120 back that's honestly the perfect way to describe it i'm like oh my god yes and i'm like no what are you doing so when like even like the last recoupling that like when i left i was like don't do this i'm like you see what you have here she she like really cares about you and you have this i'm like do not take those steps back and i'm really happy that he picked her we literally thought he was gonna go the other way and yeah we did we, we were almost shut out. off the tv we like, were like him? Not. yeah yeah like because i haven't seen their conversations before and apparently this they just have like a deep connection and got a lot deeper than laurel ever could and then ever, more than i ever could but apparently I, I was just too comfortable i don't know i was just like as soon as i heard him say i remember i was holding her and he said she brings out my romantic side we both were like oh, we could feel both our bodies just kind of like lift up we're like he's so picking you and then when he did ugh, like watching that scene back i was so happy for her she's the reason i started crying like i was holding it together and i saw her like 
do her cute little like cry shake and then I had to turn around I was like I can't watch this she is such a sweetheart no oh, I love her she's adorable I can't wait for her to get out I'm I'm like here's my number FaceTime me I'm going to fly to you show me what Alabama's all about <laughs> I already met your parents even they don't they didn't meet me <laughs> oh, oh my god so how did you feel about like the parents thing did you watch that episode did. Or that's honestly the only thing I've watched since then I was like I just want to see if Selly's family calls Johnny out, um, mm-hmm. I want to see who's Justine's, like what Justine's family looks like because she talked about them nonstop and how amazing they are. And I was like, I really want to meet them. And then obviously I wanted to see what Laurel's parents had to say about Carrington and what Carrington's parents had to say just about him. And I think everything went perfectly. I We were talking about how incredibly well Carrington handled the conversation between Laurel's parents and him. Like, yes, I was like waiting for him to like maybe slip up be- only because of like nerves. Like I'd be nervous if I was in like in his shoes, but I think he exactly handled it <laughs> absolutely the way he should. Yeah. Because- Right before he goes down, he's like, I'm great with parents. And then he panics oh all the way. And then he's like, panic, 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 panic. And then he sits down and then he does a great job. And yeah. we're like, what was that? But it was great. I know. I, but as soon as he said that, I was like, mm-hmm. wait till you get in front of them. Because I think I'm good with parents. But like, that doesn't mean you don't get nervous. But ugh. a lot of people wanted to know what kind of brands you were wearing, like while you were there. Because oh, people, love- I think I mainly wore. Okay, so we had an amazing stylist, um, Stacy. Her- oh my god, she's just. I have to like shout her out soon, but her name's uh, Stacy. She's absolutely. Wait, did y'all have Stacy? Oh my god, Stacy! She's so good. Stacy is literally one of my best friends from Love Island. I what? love her. Oh. So- she she knew my style and she knew when we had to like dress up even for the challenges she's like she's like this is supposed to be an ugly challenge like not a cute outfit I'm like but but no like I have to like kind of look a little cute but I was I got a few things from her for dress wise uh it was like fashion nova and stuff I got some Frankie bikinis love them love them to death um but the stuff that I mainly wore what I brought from home and that was like majority tiger mist okay. love them and then baby boo baby wow. boo was like my last recoupling outfit that everyone wants to know and they, everything fits so well i'm like hit me up please i'm like i love y'all i had it tape in my boobs i had it everyone was like i was worried they're gonna fall out i was like no they were taped and secured like they were not like leaving that outfit <laughs> i like forget too that your master interview you said you were bringing in like your new boobs oh my god that was so cringy that was so cringy my friends were like yeah I'm like yeah <laughs> I was just like hey like they're ready to play like oh, I, everything fits so much better everything don't tell me that <laughs> they're amazing I love them Sally was like I'm totally getting boobs after this and I was like the world can't handle you with boobs I'm like you're oh my god you're stoppable if you get them set she the world so on fire yes <laughs> We have to talk about your strip tease because I cried. Oh my God. Apparently, I don't know if they put this on there. I don't think so. But Calvin, so I straddled him first and I was like, I got boobs. I don't know how to dance. So I did that. And then apparently he was telling the guys, he was like, the left one hit me in the face. (laughs) (gasps) That did not make it, but that's hilarious. Flashback to the primary kiss game. Why did Calvin kiss you for the... And then he said, for all my exes Exes in Texas. I honestly don't know. I think the only reason he said that was because, like, you know, exes in Texas, like, that's, like, a George Strait, like, lyric or something. And it, I'm very big on Texas. Like, that's why I pied uh, Caleb in the face. I was like, this is for Texas. Like, sorry, OU fans. There we go. I started. Uh, I think it was just the whole Texas pride thing. Just kind of let me know you're coming for me or I'm coming for you. I was like... (gasps) I was like, that's me. (laughs) Oh my God. We had a full conspiracy. Like, you know, where they put the yarn and it's like, we're matching everyone. We're like, they know this person and this. There was, what's your celebrity crush? Oh, Ian Summerhalder. Boom. Fast. Oh my gosh. Alex loves him. Stop. (laughs) Vicky Reed. You were so lucky. Did you watch Vampire Diaries? Um, how many times? I watched the series like five times. Kirsten, can I marry you? Literally, like. No, like, I was like, I have the eyes that look 
you have the eyes, we would be unstoppable. God, you could no. definitely blend in with that. I cast. literally wore this today because I was like, I feel like a vampire. She um, didn't say that. Oh God, I know. I was like, can they be a real thing? I'm like, fight me. Turn me in. Oh. <laughs> no, seriously, I need a vampire boyfriend. I loved you. I knew I loved you. God. <laughs> you must not uh memory from the villa that like probably wasn't shown or just something that you like loved. Uh, I should have like prepared this from watching all the other ones. Oh, I honestly don't know if I have a specific what. Oh my God. Boom. Got it. Um, Laurel, of course, this is my baby Laurel. Did, I don't know. Did y'all see the peanut butter and ranch sandwich? No. Okay. So she said this story about how her friend when they were younger, like her friend made them both lunch and, uh, it was a peanut butter sandwich with a side of ranch and they ate it. And she's like, I still eat it to this day. And everyone was like, that's disgusting. I was like, I'm trying it. Like, I was like, I'm doing it. Like, let's do it. So we later on, we kept talking about it. And I was like, no, we finally need to try it. And we did. And I love ranch. I love peanut butter. I have my glass of milk right there. And I tried it and it was not bad. Like you have to wait for the ranch and the peanut butter to meld, and like I need y'all to try it. No, I honestly chance. will try it. Oh, you need to try it, Kirsten. No I think the villa brings out like the weirdest tastes in people because I made a <laughs> pancake with all melted cheese, like basically a grilled cheese, but with pancakes. <laughs> sweet and salty i don't think that's weird everyone <laughs> in the villa judged me until they tasted it and they were like it's this true. is the best exactly. invention i've ever had the grilled cheeses it was like currency uh, what was your biggest pet peeve that the other islanders did i'm so sorry about my friend my roommate's dog if you hear it uh i'm gonna text her and be like shut up um but i would it would be that they would just sugarcoat stuff. That's why I bonded with Lauren so much. They were like scared to hurt people's feelings. And I'm like, no, I'm asking you to be straight up in me. So like say it. And they're like, no, 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 no. And then Lauren's like, fine, I'll say it. I'm like, okay, this is why I love you. Mine was Yaman's chewing. <laughs> oh, really? And also everyone might say that like, it's people snoring, but I passed out every single night. Like I never really heard that. <laughs> well, I slept next to Ray, and I do have to say, he snores like a bear. A okay, then Ray bear. And Trey. <laughs> Ray and Trey. <laughs> um, do you have any dating advice after, like, going on Love Island for anyone? Um, Especially with I don't know. Just, just honestly, it's, like, basic. Follow your heart and fight for what you want. But also, at the same time, be respectful if someone says no. So, respect boundaries and everything. But just go for it. Like, my tattoo, LFG, let's effing go. Like, don't live life with any regrets. Like if you, it, especially with Love Island, you never know what's going to happen or who's going to have like walk in next. So it's kind of like you have to put yourself out there and there's nothing wrong with that because, you know, if someone gets mad at you for giving your whole self, then they're not for you. Yeah, I love that. And I feel like the next question was going to be, you know, what's the biggest like takeaway that you learned? But I feel like that's what you've just been speaking this whole interview is that, yeah, you know, you just no, put yourself I mean, forward. I don't think I have any regrets other than, maybe and of course it always goes back to Carrington just kind of you know I was very comfortable with him but I forgot to kind of open up deeper with him it's like the whole what if I was like I'm not going to have any regrets that's my one regret like where could we have been now um but that doesn't mean anything right now I'm still reading for Lauren and, or Laurel oh my god people came for me for saying Lauren or yeah Lauren for Laurel and I did it again I'm sorry there's too many L names too I, the names are always getting mixed up no they're hard but um I don't know it was a great experience would I do it again if I didn't have to do the quarantine maybe <laughs> Oh, yeah. That's fair. Quarantine's tough. Very fair. I know I'm laughing. Pat got right on the interview the other day and was like, what's up, Emily? I was like, Elizabeth, but you're so close. Oh, my God. With all the confidence. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Said it two or three times. Yeah. Like, we were like, it was wild. What's next for Kirsten? Yes. Uh, Honestly, that was everyone's question for as soon as I got back. And honestly, I don't know. I think I'm just going to take it day by day and just kind of enjoy everything and have a blast and just soak this in. But hopefully some amazing opportunities come from this. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's next for me. I guess we'll see. Stay tuned. <laughs>
<laughs> Hopefully love. Someone goes drop that smoky eye tutorial, please. You think you'll make a YouTube channel? I do have a YouTube channel. Um, that actually got me into hot water though. So in the back of one of them, there was a Trump flag. But I do want to address that if that's all right with you. <gasps> Everyone's been asking. So I wouldn't call myself a Trump supporter. Um, I'm very uneducated in politics and I really do not know where I stand. There's all these candidates and like I pick things from each one that I like and everything that Trump says I don't agree with. There, I do appreciate his um, appreciation for law enforcement because that is, you know, majority of my family. So I like that and I like that he supports the military, but there's a lot of things that he says that I'm just kind of like, what are you saying? And also get off Twitter. Um, but I wouldn't call myself a Trump supporter. So that statement alone, like that's false. But yeah, as for like my dad, um, just because I support my dad and my family does not mean I'm anti anything else. So I know there was like a big hit with, you know, why doesn't Carrington like Kirsten? And then they put a picture of me with that flag that was in the back. That wasn't my boat dock. That wasn't my boat. That wasn't my flag. We just happened to take a video and it was in the back. Um, and I know that flag represents a lot of things to people, but it wasn't mine. So I wanted to clear that up too. And I would love to learn more about politics. We have that election coming up and I, you know, I need to, you know, dive deep into there and, you know, learn more about the BLM movement because just because I'm like pro my dad and everything doesn't mean I'm like anti BLM. So no, I'm not a go like a gung ho Trump supporter. Like y'all, I'm not going to repeat this too much more. So no, yeah. thank you for letting me say this. It was a very, very big thing that I was like nervous about talking about just because everyone was coming at me from every which way. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel. Like this video down below. Kirsten, our awesome guest. We will link all of her socials down below, <laughs> her YouTube, her Instagram, and we can't wait to see what's next for her. Thank you, Kirsten, yes, so much for coming thank on you. today. We really we appreciate it. We love you. It. Bye.